This week in our Tejano Moment series, we're diving a little deeper into the history behind Longhorns and Mustangs. It's a history not often told in a classroom, but one that is important to the roots of the first Tejano ranches. Our Eric Hernandez has the details. Mustangs and Longhorns are very common in Texas, but they've been around a lot longer than the state itself. In fact, their history dates back to the six and seven hundreds when the Moors from North Africa occupied Old Spain. Over a 700 year period, not only did the Moors bring their religion, uh, their institutions, their government, etc., they also brought their agricultural practices and that led to bringing their uh, cattle strains uh, to Old Spain. Expeditions to the New World by Columbus and other explorers would bring Longhorns and Mustangs. And after Hernán Cortés caused the downfall of the Aztec Empire in Mexico in 1521, the livestock was then brought there. The Spanish are bringing their, the Spanish Mustangs, if you will, uh, just as they're bringing the Spanish Longhorns with them. So they're in tandem. The Spanish explorers cannot operate without their horses. Uh, and, and nor can they operate without the beef. As the area of Texas is being explored in the late 1600s, it is then that the practice known as seed stock began to provide future development of horses and longhorns. All of this leading up to the creation of the first Tejano ranches by 1741. We're real proud and pleased of the things that our ancestors accomplished and developed and in many times the first, the first ranches, the first longhorns that they brought for Spanish uh, horses and so forth. There are still remnants of those first Tejano ranches around, the closest being Rancho de las Cabras in Wilson County that at one point had over a thousand head of cattle and over 30 horses. For more on Tejano history, just visit our website, ksat.com. Erica Hernandez, KSAT 12 News.